Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my home, or I should say, my playground. Fun in general is the is the word that's really important for myself. So at anything I do, if I'm not having fun, there's no point to be there. It's really important to clear my mind. I would say like some people like to go all in and they they can't like detach their sports, you know. I need to miss snowboarding. When you miss your sports, when you get back into it, you know, you get that fired up, you know, to go, go back riding. You get so obsessed with snowboarding during the season that when it's summer, it's nice to get obsessed about something else. I would say like the past three years, golfing has been the first sport that I like to do the best uh, in the summer. The first thing that comes to my mind when I hear golf, joy, frustration, a lot of time at the range. I see a lot of golf balls in the water. I see uh, some birdie. No! <laughs> I made a hole in one this year. I got a little trophy with the ball. I guess it's the dream of every golfer. When I was younger, my grandfather was trying to teach me golf and I thought it was too slow and all I wanted is to be in the skate park. Getting older now, like I got hooked with golf, just how technical it is. You think you have it, but you don't have it, you know? Just like snowboarding, always been a big fan of shoes. Golf and shoes needed like room for style, you know? It's like, you kind of look like a little like too old for me. And But now, in the past couple of years, crazy how like Nike brought some fresh stuff, you know, to the game. And um, like this pair, you know, like Jordan, I think they made this one for US Open. It's cool to have like different ways to express your style, even on the golf course as well. My mom, when she walks here, she's like, what are you gonna do with all these shoes? I'm like, wow, wear them, mom. So now we're gonna go golfing. Maybe another hole in one today. It's not the most convenient car, but it can carry the most important thing. Snowboarding, it takes a lot of um, mental game and precision as well to land the tricks that we need to land nowadays. I think that the, the mindset with snowboarding helped me out with golfing as well. Your focus needs to be there. Yan Dauphin is, uh, is my good friend. Yan used to be a pro snowboarder, more like in the filming side of it. We love golf. I would say Seb is good when it's time to shine. <laughs> I got this. Well, it's on the green, ladies. The main three things that I enjoy with golf is you're able to play with friends. Definitely get competitive, you know, but it's a friendly competition, you know? He's pretty good. The, the guys I'm trying to beat, it's myself. Every golf course has something to offer, you know? Nice. Bunker. It's a good day for bunker. I feel like it's kind of like snowboarding, you know? Like when I ride a slope style course, sometimes it's icy, but sometimes it's perfect weather. Sometimes we have more side hits, sometimes it's more jumps, sometimes it's more rails. So you just gotta be good at everything. So I'm trying to approach golfing kind of like the same way. Yo. Yo. Longest drive? Yeah, all right. When I'm up there in the slope, getting ready to, to drop in for my runs, like. There's a ton of fo the focus, you know, that goes through. Like, you could think negative, you could think positive. Like, you're not fully committing to the run you're trying to do. It, there's a good chance you're gonna fall, you know. When I'm standing over the ball, I'm trying to have like, I'm trying to have a, a plan, you know. I'm committing to a certain shot. If it didn't go, didn't go my way, it didn't go my way. But at least I commit to it. All right, let's go. Talk to her. Kind of unfair because I drive longer than Dauphin, but Dauphin is always in the fairway. So I don't think I have one ball in the fairway. So yeah, exactly. The longest has to be. So he got me. I get a little obsessed, I guess, with stuff. I am a perfectionist. I think like at 
Everything I do, I try to get better. Like I got hooked because I knew I could get better. Oh yeah. Short. Come to the beach with me. Short. Oh, shorty. Oh, a little shot. When you do a bad shot, it's it's understanding why and moving forward to it. Same thing with snowboarding, you know, like sometimes I miss a trick. It's frustrating because I wanted to land that run, but moving on to my second run, I need to clear that out of my mind. Let's make challenge here. You gotta make birdie. Two out of three or just one? Two out of three. Boom. Oh. You go first. Okay. Be good. good Be good. That was great. Pretty good setup so far. You feeling nerve? Not really. Better hurry up. Not much hunt left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks looks, good, looks good. We both got a pot for birdie. Well, so far I have the closest. Like I get put to so amount of pressure like on a big contest or whatever contest that I do. If I have to hit a good shot, sometimes the pressure helps me to hit the shot that I really need. It's kind of like that blackout zone that's like you kind of like forget it about everything that's around you. And it's really hard to find some stuff in life that gets you that same feeling. There's no point to leave it short. Exactly. Short like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Left it short. That's good for me. Who wants par anyways? All right. Mmm. Good shot. At least you didn't, you were not shy. Even though I've been snowboarding for many, many years, like every day that I'm like on top of my game is the days that I'm having the most fun. So I try to see it the same way when I'm golfing. Hopefully it's the last part of the game. This one right here. Golf, it's one of those those sports, you know, that people can play f forever, you know? Go. Go, baby. That was the line. Way short, too shy. My grandfather is like 80 or 81 and he's still playing like three times a week. All right, buddy. It's only you, the ball, and the hole. I'm looking forward to just stick around and, and play a lot of golf, you know, until I'm too old for it. <laughs> Hell yeah.